What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another video on our career mode here on EA Sports PGA Tour. And if you missed the last couple episodes, we've kind of uh, used this opportunity to use the quick round option in this game to kind of use these filler filler tournaments instead of just skipping them outright. So we have battled it out in Maine. We have battled it out at uh, Terra ED in New Zealand. And now our last tournament before the Open Championship. So next video is going to be very, very special, historic moment for our career. We are headed to the beautiful, beautiful Dominican Republic, Teeth of the Dog Course. This is arguably the most scenic, most gorgeous ocean course in the world that the game has. I mean, you can make an argument for any of them, but wait until you see some of the signature holes. But once again, we are playing on quick rounds. So this is going to be one full event, the Dominican Open, in one video, about a 30 to 40 minute video as we set ourselves up for the full championship of the Open out at St. Andrews. But first, let's head out to the beautiful hot weather, get some palm trees, get some nice island music. And we got our beautiful, beautiful clothes on, uh, bright colors, just a nice little festive uh, a little change in pace from some of the hardcore tournaments we're used to, but we are dealing with six to nine mile per hour wind, teeth of the dog, some of the most legendary scenic holes you will see. I, I, I hope that the game lets us play those in one of the rounds. I'm sure we'll get that stretch of holes. It's about, I think from the sixth hole, maybe the fifth hole, fifth or sixth hole to, you know, the back nine is world of golf. sensational. I mean, you got all these beautiful shots of, you know, man-made, uh, you know, barriers all the rocks the coral and i mean there you go there's a sneak a little sneak peek there unfortunately this video seems a little bit laggy on the introduction i'm not quite sure what's going on but we have yet to tee off so i believe if i've if i've assuming this correctly we will actually get the first six holes of this tournament and then the ai will simulate so we might not be able to see them in round one but Again, well, I, I got to think that we're going to be able to play that right, stretch of holes like at least once. So we get the honors. We get to set the pace for our AI. The most and let's get off to a really hot start here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome the to the Dominican Republic Teeth, Teeth of the, of the dog, dog Resort. You're probably wondering how did it get its name? Well, Pete Guy <laughs> learned as he built the golf course. A little bit of a bad swing there. Republic, that the dangerous coral off the coast of Casa de Campo is called Diente del Perro, which translates to teeth of the dog go take a bite out of it there you go now, some uh, some cool little info yards, there about how the name came about second. pete i learned that the the name in the native language means teeth of the dog because of how sharp and dangerous the coral is right off the coast and you'll see the coral the coral rock on those holes that i was talking about i mean this is without a doubt one of my favorite pete Dye design courses and this needs to you see a couple extra feet and the wind is pretty strong uh, that's a bit of a hit. Make sure you guys really. click that, that subscribe button. You guys have been crushing it lately. We're so close to 500. Again, I'm not a I'm not a numbers guy. I, I don't do this to try and gain subscribers, but we're building a really solid community. You guys are very vocal in the comments. You guys are awesome at letting me know what you like, what you dislike. Continue that. Let's just continue to grow this. We got so many fun videos planned for the next couple weeks, and we lost that on the low side. So trying to start off our tournament here with a birdie is not to be, but we do have a very realistic chance of making this birdie coming back up the hill and again the idea is just to every time we have these six holes okay that's the way the quick rounds work it picks six first. crucial and holes for you to play of the turn of, of the round for the tournament and then you get thrusted in there so for us being able to start the first six holes is kind of a blessing because we can set so up the ai for something good the problem is we got to be able to do that and drop a couple birdies the natural area to the left that's the trouble i love the natural drive, bunkers though. natural hazards all these rocks cover. lining everything out here is such a again pete i i feel like we've brought his name up in so many of these videos but just a masterpiece him and his wife alice are such incredible designers this looks to be a good ball it should clear all that crap on the left yeah it does the bunker on the by the car path not coming into play no issues here. and a that beautiful shot again fairway. straight down the fairway 302 yards 59 pitch shot coming up and I, I, I said this out in Terry Edie, but we're just happy to be finally here. playing this in some in some second. beautiful weather. The palm trees, the good scoring conditions, exactly what you asked for after a, that that middle half of the uh, the schedule is a bit of a grind. This one doesn't release as much as I thought it would, so I probably needed a full mm, shot there. Some work, but it'll end up that that middle part of the season, man, it's a Sizable even just recording. I, I get it's a video game, but it is a grind fest, man. Like you have some hard tournaments leading into the pga the first half is like you got the masters you got the players like there's some hard tournaments sprinkled but 
you have very hard tournaments leading up to the PGA Championship. Then you have about three weeks in between where they're all very long and grueling courses into the most difficult tournament, which is the US Open. So being able to just have some fun, do a couple quick rounds, not take a, a too much time recording all these before the, the Open oh, is a very yes. good change of pace. So we finally yeah, drip in our birdie here at number two. It was a beautiful putt. I thought we were gonna miss it on the low side again, but Thankfully, it was a nice catch by the, the the cup there. Yeah, this is a nice par five early in the round. This third hole. Par five, third. We want another opportunity here to get a birdie. Right now, like I said, that's exactly what you're looking for. Is just put yourself in good positions, set up that AI. They're gonna have, you know, 12 holes or whatever it is to to keep us in this tournament. Yeah, another good shot. You can start to see. You can just start to see the beautiful shots. Excellent. I actually shot. think now we'll be able to play one design. of them, Whether maybe even the two. Five and two or not. Six holes is, I, I think it starts at six, but it might start at five. So, all right, we got an into the wind shot. I'm going to stay with the five iron, even though it's uphill, just because we've been penetrating this shot quite, quite well through the wind in the last couple tournaments. So I don't want to overkill. If it comes up short, it comes up short. You see what I mean? I mean, this club is just sailing. It's just sailing beautifully through the wind. Unbelievable shot there again. 14 feet, 6 inches. A little bit of a fist bump. Boy needs to work on his tan a little bit, but... Looks like it's pretty much left to right the whole way, but not a, not a ton given that it's, it's downhill. We're in our bright colors here. Want to stand out with the, the, the home crowd. Oh my word, it just died straight at the end. It was turning, turning, and then it just stayed straight. So a little bit of a misread for my part. Probably should have looked at it from the other side of the hole, but very makeable up the hill putt left to right in the center of the cup for a bird here at number three. And we will head to the par four. And it is actually hole five. That is the first of that beautiful holes, the par three. And I mean, you can just, that is the par three right there. It's a good par beautiful. Four right here. 500 yards so it's kind of the way this is this is shaped at is the first right. four holes are inland you want to inland however you pronounce you it and then you got about five holes that are along the coast and then the everything ocean. else is back inland so beautiful 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 course I, I i you're gonna keep hearing me say I, I this is one of my favorite courses in the planet in terms of ocean courses you obviously got kiowa you obviously got pebble i've left this one to the right you got a lot of courses you can make the argument for wow Thanks to that tailor-made Stealth 2 driver, just there is forgiveness on that one. Hit that one far rhythm, and still saved ways, it with a miss hit the from the human the error. Pace. That's what they did right there. All right, 168, eight iron in Ready hand. Second shot, Wind to left to right. Green. Need a good strike here. Yeah, let me now know in the comments which one's your favorite ocean course. Because I, again, I think it's safe to say you can make an argument for every single one. They're all beautiful. Oh, that's that's why they're ocean bad. courses. Uh, something about and, and i i think you guys will will agree with me once you see once you see the next hole i mean it is just incredible up the hill right to left look here just moving slightly to the left oh it moved a little bit more slightly than we thought there uh no to begay missed opportunity there but we'll keep the scorecard clean with a hopefully a cleanup par here couple feet left beautiful okay, 200 par as we head into off. hole number five so the par three do not and end my round there let me much. play these holes please it looks like we will get it ladies and gentlemen the welcome to the true teeth of the dog horse oh Short iron, flip wedge, I think what's beach, so unique about this one in particular green, is, yeah, you always get the change. waves, you get the beaches, you get everything, but just look at the coral stone as well. Like, I think that's what makes this, you, you heard them talk about it, the coral stone. It's this deepish brownish gray, but it's so rigid and jag, like jagged that it looks like it's teeth and it's just up against the white sand, up against the green with the crystal, like, Almost the, the the beautiful light blue, baby blue shade of the ocean. Just a very, very remarkable golf course this is. All right. We got a club down here to a nine iron. Wind is helping us. So we can't send this one. We don't. Long is dead. Short is dead. So this one's got to be center of the. Oh, this needs to sit. Oh, we need to club down again. Oh, my word. And we just 
And I mean, oh, it, they actually, that's right there. Why can't I play that? That's Into not out. Getting set to play the third shot. Play it as it lies. Oh, you freaking dumb game. That was playable. It, it didn't even touch the rock. I don't see any white stakes. Well, the teeth well, of the dog the got me on the first. Open contact. You saw <laughs> that look. He was probably looking at an, a, a uh, fucking the marshal the there like, God damn, that should have been playable. There you go. Uh, we'll tap in our bogey. Though, that is, a, is that's a tough bogey, bogey to swallow. Yeah, that was, now. I clubbed down, but I guess that was just still too much club. But the fact that that ball was still up, not touching the rocks in the sand, like, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure that would be deemed playable. Maybe I'm crazy. Again, maybe they, I know they don't have white stake markers in this game, but maybe there is actually a white stake in the real course. But again, another sensational golf, golf hole here. It's just so much fun. This would be such a treat to be able to play. Yep, beautiful there. A little bit of an aggression in that one because yeah, it's going to roll out a long way. Game. Probably 340, 330, 330, 340, 339. So pretty much right on the money there. 137 left to this flag. The wind the sailed this ball last time. Second. So we're going to club down to a 52 degree. If we, if we hit it past the hole this time, we should have at least have some spin uh, to bring it back. Wow! Well, did the wind the not say it was like six to nine mile per hour? Am I did I am I misremembering that? I swear to God that that said it was six to nine mile per hour winds. How is this sailing twenty yards? I'm I'm not even joking. Like I swear it said six to nine mile per hour. Well, sorry AI, I didn't really leave you with that great of an opening uh, six holes, but. Hopefully you can do a little bit better than us. Birdie at the eighth is a good start. Six under par for the round. Is that is that what it finished us at? All right, we'll take that every day of the week. Good, good five under final twelve holes from the AI there. Holy crap! Holy crap! I don't even know. Uh, that's crazy to me. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful opening round. They had four birdies in the last six holes. That's definitely how you want to finish out here. Again, I should have started that at least two, two under par at the very least. And just, I don't know, that ball was just sailing out there. But nonetheless, we head to day two of the beautiful Dominican Open Championship. We are currently seven under par, so one under. 10 to 50 mile per hour wind. See, that's what I was expecting uh, this course to do. But it said it wasn't that in the first round. So just a little bit of a... A, a sloppy club choice, I guess. EA Sports. And now we'll just see where where we get thrown in. So we are going into that same of stretch of holes. So we played Today, the first six. We now we're playing the next six. So it doesn't always work out like Things this, but I'm happy to see that we get, get an opportunity to some, play these beautiful the holes. Prize. For others, Where's my beard? Fight to stick around for the weekend. Where's my beard? The leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top at 13 under par. Let's get into the action. Okay, we we're good. Things up what the, the heck? Seven. My guy shaved? Holy jumpins. That actually scared me for a minute. I thought my boy shaved. Land soft. Oh my word, come back down. And that this might be tough today to get any more birdies. Terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. <laughs> that was so funny. That was that just threw me for a loop right there. That, what is going on? He's got a goatee now. It was so so good. Stop shaving, bro. This man's sporting all the different hairstyles. No problem. It's in for ball. What in the hell is going on with my facial animations in this this game? The man's on man's on vacation. He's got a manscaper, uh, a beard trimmer going on the uh, every hole. He's just like, get rid of that. So that don't need that. Pretty soon he's just gonna have a freaking mustache left. View the Jeez Louise. Over the Caribbean, up ahead, just off the green, is the famous uh, This is this this says, shows oh, the beautiful coral bury me in a putt bunker. There is nothing like the challenge of a peak die golf course and teeth of the dog. 
is no exception. Oh no. Oh, stay out of that bunker. Yeah, oh, stay out. Good balance. Wow, Good lucky. It's going to be a weird stance as a lefty, hole. but... Now, now, now he's got one half of his beard. So now from just 76 yards Bruh. away, here's his second. My oh, man is... Uh, this, this, this round's bugged out of his mind. Guy's on vacation and thinks he can fool us by taping on a beard. Guy's like, I need to shave my beard out at Dominican Republic. Now I got a tape on beard that keeps falling off. Screw the golf content. This is a right, this is a beard a simulator. Look at that look. One eyebrow. Ball and hole. <laughs> what the Return hell is happening? The third uh, all right. right. Well, Bird. ladies and gentlemen, this game is and flawless. What am I? What, 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 what can I tell you? There's no bugs left in this game. The left, They've patched level. it. Feels good. It looks good. Oh my god, that's funny. As we drip a beautiful putt that just slips oh, out. Just a little bit of a turn, but that will this guy's a chameleon. Right on the edge. Okay, safely in for his plan. Tanya, vacation mode for my guy brings out a whole like new side. That actually looks like a taped on beard. <laughs> uh, Good way to finish this front nine with a demanding uh, par five. It's about what the heck, yeah, the what the heck. The Two good oh, I'm not, I can't even concentrate because this is just so damn funny. The card. This is just so damn funny, I can't even concentrate. Well, this is the first time I personally have experienced any animation glitches. I know it's out there. I know people talk about it all the time, but Boy, we've been lucky where I haven't seen anything like this. this the one half is a, is a nice look. I will say that is a, that's a nice look well, my guy's got going on. Here, Not sure it'll get any of the ladies the out, out there, but it, but it's a, it's a hell of a nice look for the young man. I wouldn't recommend trying it. Oh, it just skirts on. That's it. Two solid shots. Uh, it's just right so there, risky right. taking an Certainly extra taking club in this wind. I mean, we saw what we what happened yesterday. So Today is, from you know, triple the wind. Away, it's for eagle. Well, we got an eagle putt here on the par five. This would be this would be some kind of eagle. Lost on the low side, but we will mm, finally drip in our birdie right here. Two feet four inches. Eagle putt doesn't go down. Oh man, I gotta compose myself after that. It's not every day you wake up to see your your golfer shave one half of his entire okay. face. Little two footer for birdie, not a problem. And that was well played. Guy had a little bit too much pina coladas yesterday. Them pinas are uh, hitting a little different when you show up at the golf course with a taped on beard because you shave half your face. is about 400 yards, and this is where we start. But don't worry, that's funny right there. Get you back out toward that Caribbean in just a few holes. There you go. You heard him. Couple holes remaining inland, and then you get back out to the the beautiful Caribbean side as we fade this one. Big old power fade. Oh, it just comes up short of the second fairway. Probably a little bit too much of that coming off with the wind. Be a little disappointed with. A little that disappointed. I'm not, honestly not too upset. It appears to be fairly thick over there. Pitch this one back so, on. Hopefully. Ten. Now he's second. It's not a bad shot. It needs to land soft. A little bit longer than I would have hoped for. 17 feet six inches. Now this for birdie at ten. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Huh? Start to the backside, Frank. You're telling me that died well and then died to the right? The really on. Okay. Oh well. Everything fades to the ocean. You got to remember that. To keep him just inside that is funny. I hope two. that's not the case in every video because that'll be distracting AF. But that is funny. Here's another pretty big par five. In fact, I think this is our last hole. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, we have this one and one more. The other par fives here. Unless I, I honestly don't know if it's always six holes. If you hit a big drive. Okay, what is it to carry that tree? Two ninety one. So we can't really carry that tree. So we're just gonna play it at the tree and let the. Let the 10 mile or 14 mile per hour wind bring it back to the center of the uh, the fairway. Hopefully, that's the plan. It looks like it's doing just that, and it'll get a good kick. 
And that is a beautiful shot well, there. 294 carry. Drop it any better than that. 319, that we have 240 on a par right five. There. We have an opportunity to go for it, ladies and gentlemen. And on these quick rounds, you better believe we're going for all of them. I think we can club down even more. This is going to be playing very short downhill. Wind is going to help this one a bit. Should get this one to the front of the green. Oh, I mean, okay, not if I don't play the wind correctly. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. But, Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. You're a thud on that one. I think I hit that one a little fat. Okay, a little bit too much sand out, on that one. That's what will remain for birdie. What a display of of graphics this, this game is. I don't think this one's moving all, all like at all. Okay, that ball on line. There you go. Oh, so we got way. to play it's seven, eight, eight nine, 10, 11. 11. And he'll so move we only got to play five in this one. Par. But it looks like our AI did okay for the rest so of the event, the rest of the day. Frank, so five under for the round, 11 under for the tournament. You got a couple guys that shot really low again. I mean, that's expected in these quick rounds. There's such a fine line, Rich, between playing well. Yeah, another, another very good, very good score. Very respectable. Headed into the weekend with the chance at winning, you know, these events is, is always good. Here we go. Let's hope uh, let's hope our boy here is uh, not clean shaven on one half of his face. And that looked like we had two bogeys at least. Nine under par is our current score. And I didn't see what the EA wind was. Damn it. Is proud to present continuing Plus coverage two through world of nine. Golf. Ladies and gentlemen, today he is struggling out there the today. We have five well, to six holes to right this ship, we try and get back under par. Weekend of golf here. It looks like this tournament is just bugged because our Saturday. face was a little shaven there again. A lot of folks we played a big fade title, here yesterday. I'm not going to play as leader. big of a one. So let's get you out to the action on the turn as we head to the tee at the par 4 tenth. Still in the exact same shot. Okay, maybe a fade isn't a play on this. It looks like you can cut that corner so no aggressively, but you just can't. All right, rough. his beard doesn't look like a taped on beard. Shot at 10. Now he's second. All right, the wind is barely there. That's good. Very scorable day, it seems like. I, I bet you it's like a, a five mile per hour wind. So very, very scorable day. We have five to six holes for to right this ship that it seems this AI kind of screwed us on. It's going to go a little bit right to left. You can tell from the first little bit of the putt. Yes, We've had enough right. lip outs. Give me that lip in, baby. Get one of those bogeys back. We head to the par five. 11th par. with another chance to get back to even par on the day. Let's go, baby. Let's go. A ton of nuance here at this uh, almost a 600 yard par five. In fact, the second in the last three holes. This just blast away here. Two good pokes, and you'll have a chance to get out of here with a four. If they're really good shots, maybe even a three. That was a miss hit on a power drive. But we had enough power that we got it through that tree and into a very, very solid spot with 235 left to this hole. 337 dry. He might not know that it got through, but it did. And we we're sitting pretty. I think we got to use a three iron. We were short yesterday with the uh, with the four or with the five, I guess. Oh, whoa. Hit the, hit the grandstand come back. Oh, uh, well, we got a club length. Got a club length and we have a chance now to, to get this one close. There we go. Seven feet, one inch. Got to get this in. Got to get back to even par. A great opportunity here. It, se for it, se it seems like the AI wasn't playing overly, overly well today. So it's our, our responsibility to try and right the ship for these these next few holes. And we will do just that. Yeah, a beautiful good. birdie will get us back to 11 par for the tournament, even for the day. We have a few more holes remaining. No to that. And yeah, another. Uh, Adley, I haven't seen that name in a while. Forward, a bit under 500. Par 4, 12, 470. Good poke here. Sets you up for a second shot. You'd be happy to walk All right, let's with just, a four, but what is it? 379 to carry the bunker, so we don't. We can just hit this one dead straight. 
379 to the bunker. Oh, I think we have the I think we have the speed animation going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, we won't restart the game like we did last that time. We'll do but I believe fine. our character is going to be turbo speed here for the rest of these the next couple holes. Yep, he is. That is potentially up, other than the, the, the beard no that is a very turn. weird bug like watch watch when i swing this he's going to be hole, turbo animation even par looking to go under for the day <laughs> i don't understand this game and i don't understand whoa okay that wind is picking up that wind is picking up i don't understand how ea has not just sent out a bug fix patch i get that they have these major updates every you know every month or whatever it is and i think they've the last two have been pretty solid so that's good to see but instead of focusing on new content which we all want I'm how about you just spend one to fix that, every freaking think? major bug that your game has so, so such good. a silly one like how does your character just get stuck in like turbo speed it's a par here at 12. Uh, a par here on four after and a good recovery shot that second shot was just a bit uh, i think the wind is picking up this afternoon back to back to where we were i think back. i think he for myself i would like to drop two more birdies here to give the ai at least a, a fighting chance to get into position you need to be accurate with your tee shot here you can see it's almost an island with that bunkering around the green take some off this because everything seems long go go a foot go a foot oh that was a foot from being next to the hole that was a foot and that from being one, next to the hole. The green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Just chip this one back up into the hill. Stay up there. Stay up there. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. That's a scary chip shot, but I feel like a flop shot would have been even scarier. Looks dead straight. Yep. Well, All right, Jeff, another par here. We have a par, par five left. And he'll stay Might get one more hole after that. This will be our fifth hole. I, again, I don't really know what it, it determines as the most pivotal point of the round because sometimes we've gotten six holes, sometimes we've gotten five. I don't think I've ever gotten more than five holes, though, or six holes, though. Yeah, dead straight here as well. If you're accurate here, if you're sensible, good chance to get out of here. Kind of overswung on that one, which is the reason why this one's hanging out to the left. It's going to leave a very long shot in. I don't know if we'll have a chance to go for this one over the water in two. What do we got left? 182. Okay, so the cutoff is pretty pretty steep there. It is a pretty significant dog now, leg. After the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. I'm clubbing down because everything has legitimately been long. Yep, I definitely could not have used the other club. We're a little bit short, but that's a better spot to leave an eagle putt than being over and chipping from the back backside. Home in two on the par five. All these greens are so flat. Just lost on the low side, but I mean that's an eagle putt. We now have ourselves a tap in birdie for one foot six inches. Pretty good, but a birdie would be a nice consolation, right? There we go, Easy birdie there, it's and we're getting our six hole, so we are going to the par 4 15th. We are now three under in our five holes. We have written the, written the ship a little bit, and we got it. We got to get if we can get one here, I know it's a difficult hole. Simple, relatively short par four. It's the green that's the, the tough part here. Very short, but you don't want to be too far where you, you leave yourself with a, a janky shot into the green. But I mean, we're we're gonna club up here. Didn't come to the Dominican Republic to lay up. It's a good shot. Oh, I just aimed it horribly. Okay, this wind is a mystery because on some holes it feels like it's five to six miles, and other holes it feels like it's ten to twelve. All right, pitch this one back on. His second at the fifteenth. Just want to avoid the flyer lie coming out of that rough. Oh, we got the flyer lie. This needs to sit hard. Oh, this needs to sit hard. Not bad, but that is a lot longer than we we wanted. All right, down the hole. It is going to move to the right or to the left a little bit towards the water. Everything breaks towards the water. So we're doing a little truffle shuffle with our feet. And that sets up the the beautiful back few holes for the AI. They drop one more birdie, and we have written the ship. We get three under par on that day. Obviously not as low as some of these guys went, but we have gotten ourselves to at least be in potential can, uh, contention going into the final round. So 
Unfortunately, I think the game did in... I feel like the game did just freeze, unfortunately, because it says simulating the rest of the round. So hopefully quitting. I'm going to save round. I hope I don't have to go into the round to see the final the final showing, because that, that was the last round or last hole. So... All right, no, we don't need to. So we're currently 14 under par. So eight to 12 mile per hour wins. We're currently tied for 37th. We're on the 14th hole. So we get the final final six holes here or 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, final five holes. But I think we're gonna be a long way back. I think the guys, I think the guys in front of us have, uh, have put up another good week or uh, another good day. It was unfortunate that our third round started with the AI being a little bit over par. We had to right the ship. We ended up going under par, fixing those bogeys and going under par in our stretch of holes. But yeah, we're a long, we're a long way back there, guys. We're seven strokes off the lead right now. Not even remotely possible to get to that number. But again, as always in these quick play rounds, you're, you're not really in control of your full event. And for us, I mean, four bogeys on the day, three three birdies or four birdies. For us, it's just let's try and get back to to somewhere near the top of the leaderboard, if possible, for some imaginary fake money and uh, some more world golf rankings. We want to hold first the whole career. We, we gained first about halfway through the season. We've been riding first ever since. We're first on the FedEx. We want to continue that into the FedEx playoffs. Again, we're quite quite a bit ahead. However, it is very possible for somebody like Scotty Scheffler to win three straight events and pass us. So, a good shot here. This should land pretty soft. It is a wedge shot. Yeah, not bad. Landed, landed pretty damn damn soft there. Yeah, struck it so well you could see that by the reaction of that left ball right up the hill the green landed so softly again I i've talked about it in the first video oh, playing yeah. a little bit quicker in these because that's an eagle five. that's an eagle, eagle baby eagle anything's possible Superb. with four holes remaining <laughs> I talked about it in the first first video, two, two videos ago, where we started this quick play event. Um, you know, obviously, I know you guys like watching me think through all of my shots and, you know, take it slower and play all 18 holes and be in full control. And I like that, too. But again, it's it's the difference between it's the difference between playing an event or skipping an event. And I would much rather play an event. So we, we play these a little bit quicker. We don't, you know, take our time setting up every shot, you know. We have six, five to six holes. Damn, that was long. I, I crushed uh, that. With I know it was power drive, but I crushed that. Wind up hopping into the um, you know, I like controlling my entire round, but for this, it's just, these are mostly fun. Mostly fun events just to see the course, just to play a couple holes. We're obviously heading to the uh, Open Championship. That's going to be a full, out of that full, full. Shot. Full four rounds, third for a two videos, championship birdie. sale golf. Well, these had We're not going to want to miss any of that, like but I, I just like the idea that, the you know, hole, instead of just skipping these the events, I'd rather just play a few holes. Ooh. Good effort, but that'll run two, three, three you know, kind of hole. see where the AI puts us and then try and dictate our own uh, our own fate. So I think these last few videos have been beautifully, perfectly okay, fill, filler videos. And uh, I think that's going to be the case, especially going into season two, because... You know, 32, 33 events on the PGA schedule is a lot to record, and we have a, not, a bunch of new, now a bunch of new series starting. So we want to make sure that you know part, we're still recording goal. content at a if reasonable player, pace and able are. to pump out some new this videos for you guys when you want to see them. This tee box, this hole, that ocean. Right but as there, always, let me know if you guys have any other it. ideas. Let's Again, like some of these. Some of these events are going to be better than others. Sometimes you're going to see the AI completely screw you over or dominate. Uh, we haven't seen us dominate Lance off. I was right at the pin, man. Mm, AI hasn't really dominated it for us there, too, much. too much. Um, but I just think it's fun. I, again, like, green. if you ever find a tournament where you've you've been put into contention, then you have, you know, only a few select holes to either close it out. I can't I can't buy anything to get in the cup. I can't I buy a cup right now. With that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. But it's, I, I'm kind of treating these how I treat, you know, my tournaments okay, when I play offline for 16. points and things like that to get currency mm -hmm. in the game. It's like just like, I don't need to really, you know, slow down and think through. It's not a high stake event. It's not like I have Almost to win the event. It's more just, that that all right, well, we're in this situation. Either how do we get out of it or how do we build upon it? So year. I don't know. I, I don't like quick play for the entire season, the but enjoying it at the moment. So again, let me know in the comments 
I think it's great. I mean, you get to see the beautiful course like Teeth of the Dog, and that was the whole that was the whole agenda was just to come out here, have a couple tropical destinations before the open because we know that's going to be a grind. We know there's going to be some low scores. However, it's going to play no tournament style, there. fast, that's firm, St. Andrews, <laughs> like. And that's our last opportunity in season one to get a major again. I, I didn't. I don't Second expect us. Up, just I don't expect us to win a major in our first ever season, but we've given ourselves three three major chances. Two of them we finished second. We finished in the top ten at the U.S. Open. Why can't we win it? That's that's my argument. Wow, this wind is getting gusty. Pin high and it just blows to the left like crazy. Inexcusable. Ah, shut up. Nabilo is so aggressive in this game. You hit like two yards offline, and he's like, "You fucking suck." <laughs> uh, With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside all right, that three. Tap this in for our par here that was on number really 17, nice and we will close out our Dominican there. Republic Open or Championship, whatever they call it, out here at Deeth the Dog. Where he is. Let's finish in style with another birdie. It's a good round. I mean, we're in 26. There's a lot of guys now shooting very the low. These these last three tournaments are a lot of very, very combo, scorable courses. The strangest golf and it's all going to flip on its head the next week we go to the Open. Right I'm very much a looking forward to that. For those of you who don't know, I am part British. My dad is from England. We were going to try and uh, we're going to try and win that tournament. I think that I, I rated my tournaments at the start of the year. If you, if you want to go see that video, I think it was in the second or third video. Wow, I'm uh, killing every ball today. All, right? But I've rated one? every tournament. I said the Masters, I think, that. is Such everybody's goal in golf. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be. If, if you have a chance of winning the green jacket, that puts you in the elite of the elite company. I think the next one for me was St. Andrews winning winning the Open Championship. Steroids much? Holy jumpins. My lord. Yeah, I think for me it goes Masters. Masters Open, probably U.S. and then PGA. PGA doesn't really... I mean, it's it would be great to win, and it's a cool event to watch. It's just it doesn't mean much to me personally. Like, out of the four majors when I watch each year, it's it's my least favorite. And this will be a five-foot putt here. I actually think I like the players more than I like the PGA. But here we go. Final putt on 18. Okay. A Finishes with an interesting stretch. We eagled the 14th green. and then we parred and out. But that is a, a, you hear him say, a final round 70, our worst showing of the week. But we do finish inside the top 30. So well, definitely not a bad event. For us here today. But you heard the man. That is it Nobble. for the Enjoy Dominican it, Republic. Certainly did, Rich. Once Dominican again, Open out at Teeth of the Dog as Patton Kizire with 700 team. wins at 2700 par. So we were a long way off from that. But I'm enjoying these filler videos much more. I, like I said, they're all within 40 minutes. They're a nice, easy watch. Four rounds, about 18 holes worth of golf. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The moment that I've been waiting for for so long. Yes, we played in the PGA. Yes, we played in the US Open. This is the one. This is the one that it's all come down to ahead of the FedEx Cup. We'll probably be taking a couple weeks off after this one. A couple weeks in game, not, not videos. But we have arrived at the old course at St. Andrews at St. Andrews, Scotland for the battle for the Open Championship. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the video. I hope you guys have been enjoying these filler videos next week. Next tournament is super serious. We get down to business and in in hopes for our first major event of our career of the season. We'll catch you back in that one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.